So we got JT, we got Brees in, in tier one. I'm fine with that. Um, and then, so tier two, we mentioned that maybe it would be a, a Barkley CMC combo platter. Are they both in there for you? That is correct. And we're not worried about the 25 and 26 age on those guys. I don't know how you would be at this point, right? Yeah, uh, they've both been playing very well. What you said off air, I think, was an amazing point, Casey. It was the best thing you said all night. wasn't even on the mics. Uh, we were told that all these fucking old guys coming into this year we, were not going to be any good, and they're going to fall off a cliff. We weren't even necessarily told there was a sheet shared with a lot of people basically saying that, you know, the the percentages of the recent recently of running backs over the 27 year old old threshold and RB one performance is very minimal, and that basically all of these guys are about to fall off the cliff. And we kind of discussed this a few different times. It's like, you know, these may, maybe they're not. We just maybe we just haven't had the right guys, you know, be through here. And 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 you would think because of the advancements of you know, sciences and such that you, you should yeah. because you, science where you should be able to start expanding these, this lifespan of these guys, especially maybe the guys who, you know, aren't getting banged through the tackles, maybe as much as like a guy like a Zeke, uh, would have been, um, you know, and you're seeing, you know, Derek Henry was kind of bucking that trend a little bit and then got hurt last year, but he's doing it again this year. You got Dalvin doing it again this year. Kareem Hunt looks like he has plenty of juice. Eckler's doing it this year. Kamara went healthy and out there. Uh, lighten it up. Lighten it up. Lenny is not for a lack of uh, juice. It's for a lack of their offensive line is terrible. He's catching a bunch of balls to kind of supplement. Raheem Mostert all that. at 30 is serviceable. Right. And they um, just traded Chase Evans, so. Good point with 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 Mostert C-Pat, there. C-Pat, C-Pat had some good games at the beginning of the year. Yeah, Mostert and C-Pat maybe a little we'll different. On yeah, guys came on a little later, but you know, fair. Enough. It's, it's it was more about There's the age. Thir- yeah, exactly. There wasn't There's necessarily 30. the caveat of mileage in that yeah. particular right um, thing. And then you know, Chubb's crushing it right now. Um, let's see here, Dalvin. Did I say him already? Yeah. So Mixon, you know, he's 20, Mixon's. He was not the oldest guy. He was. He turned twenty. He'll be twenty six. Yeah, he was kind of the, the outlier that was a little younger that you were more excited to take the shot on, and he might be the guy who you know. I don't think I'm necessarily concerned about Mixon. It just doesn't I think seem like. I think the whole that whole offense is underperforming, as we saw last night. They look like they were back on track, and then he's twenty six. Yeah, I mean, but he's been getting it done fantasy wise because he's catching more balls, but. Yeah, I mean, all those guys are doing well. CMC is now tied to Shanahan for the rest of his contract, and Saquon's going to get a freshy, fresh contract. Yeah, and if right? it's with the Giants... It doesn't matter yeah, who with. Yeah, exactly, if he's healthy, yeah. he's yeah. fucking awesome, and he yeah. carries the whole team. And look at what they're doing with a fresh coach and a fresh Saquon. You know, they did just lose but like to the Seahawks, but... I they mean, were in the game. Them boys are phenomenal, and they're carrying your team, and they're... they're High points per game. High, I mean, CMC, it took him like a week. The first week, Tuesday, he gets traded. Learns a playbook on the flight there. Comes in. Looks pretty good. Only puts up like eight PPR points. Next week, fucking 40. Yeah. Like, didn't take them long at all. Right. To just unlock CMC in this rushing yeah. attack. Oh, my God. Like, yeah, I don't have any res- reservation about those guys. Can't put them in tier one because the guys in tier one are 20 three and 21 but you get the extra year with saquon um <clears throat> over cmc over cmc yeah. right it's a year difference there. but you know both of them elite elite playmakers and and i mean you're hoping that you get three more you know you're, you're playing in kind of three year increments i would assume sure. now they were both untouchable coming into this season because they're fucking hurt and they've right. their glass they're and, walking and, on glass and these right. glass fucking guys now look at them Right, you know, fucking that, that's, crushing you. That's the problem with Get the running fuck backs. Out of here with these injuries right now is you know everybody's so worried and concerned about injury, and then you lose a year, and then all of a sudden, and then you know, they crush for eight games, and no one cares anymore. You're about 26 those going on 30, in yeah. running back years for a lot of people. So, um, you know that that can scare people off, and I'm sure some people don't like the fact that you got Saquon and CMC up there. So I, I, I would basically, How can, I don't understand what the argument against them would be. They're right. 25 and 26. They're right. not. 30. They're just just a little too old to be taken that high in a, okay, in a draft. Okay, cool. Then trade them to me at a discount. Right. And at some, you know, at some point, we talk about it a lot. It's it's this game's about 
fucking winning. You play to win the right. game. You don't you don't need to be ridiculous about it. And this year you were getting some of those older guys at a little bit of a discount. And I was not going to say I wasn't scared to take some of those guys, but I was certainly fine taking Saquon and CMC. Um, I don't give a shit about the injuries. I knew how good they were. Some of those yeah. other guys I was a little bit concerned about, but they're all, they were also a little younger. And now they're, you know, even maybe a year away from what we were concerned with, with that a little bit older class of the Dalvins and such. So I'm, I'm fine with that. Saquon and CMC kind of which coming order? in there. I'd probably put Saquon first just because he's a year younger. But, I mean, they're same tier. That's fine. I have CMC over Barkley just because of the insane rushing. I mean, the insane in perceiving. Right. But Barkley's receiving has been decent. And this is the guy that's <laughs> taking Saquon to the Dashboard Confessionals concert. It's confessional. Not multiple confessions. The real question is, is 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 who's next and what is it? I know Javante preseason would have been in here. How far yeah. down the list has he gone for you? Uh, what what would be next for who, who's got a good answer? For, is it Swift next? Nope. I think the next tier for me would have Swift in it. Nope. So that that's the end of that tier? Yep. Yeah. I think that's fair. 